previously on Math Ends On with Python. Okay, let's proceed. And uh, here we have the sample data, uh, which is the net data, and the labeled it as a net data that is a short of national data showing countries across different regions of the world and uh, we have the the data for these countries okay so we are going to use this data to illustrate how you can perform the analysis of covariance and uh, i'm going to use the gdp as my dependent variable in relation to the uh, population and region so i want to check if there is a significant difference in the GDP across regions of the world in relation to their population size. So let's start coding our analysis. And here I have the libraries, which I'm going to use. We have the pandas library for loading the data. We have the start mods, which will be uh, used in the ANOVA. And uh, we have the ORS, imported from the start mods and the last library is for pairwise comparison of the uh, categorical or factor variables so uh, we have loaded the data okay and the data is the national data as i showed and uh, we have uh, included the encoding as unicode escape because into my data i have some countries with the special character so uh, I used this one to allow my function to read even those uh, names, okay? So also we have cleaned the data using this drop na function. Now let's f uh, start by developing the regression uh, equation which basically show the relationship between the GDP and the region in relation to the population size of the countries across the region. So now uh, we have the reg is equal to OLS and uh, inside this one we are going to have the, uh, the, the, the equation for our linear model that is GDP in relation to, okay, that is region and population. And this should take the data from the data frame okay so we fit this model in the ordinary least square method so we are done developing the regression model now let's perform analysis of variance of this uh, regression model that is analysis of variance is equal to sm dot starts anova linear model and we are going to perform analysis of variance of our model using type 2 okay and now let's command print out of this output analysis of variance so let's print and see how the ANOVA gives us the output so we have the output for analysis of variance and we have the region and population as our independent variable and we have the residual analysis here. So if we look for the p-value of the region and population, you can find the p-value of the region is significant while that of population is insignificant at 5% uh, level of significance. So what does this result tell us? So these results here indicate that at 5% of level of significance, the region has a statistical significant effect on the mean GDP. Now we have an idea that there is a mean difference in GDP within these uh, regions of the world. Okay. Now, which region and which region have those statistical significance? Because this one gives us a general picture of the significant difference of the mean. Now, to perform such kind of analysis, to see which region specifically have that significant difference, we need to perform a multiple pairwise comparison, uh, formerly known as a post hoc comparison, using the 2K HSD test, which comes from this functioning here we imported. 
okay now uh, let's perform that multiple comparison is equal to power is 2k hsd and inside this one we are going to assign or to call the dependent variable which is gdp and also the categorical or factor variable related to gdp which is the region and lastly okay we have to choose our alpha we set our alpha to be 0 0.05 and then we are done so let's print this out now we are going to print the multiple comparison so let's print this one so you can see we have the output this one is it was the for the previous ANOVA okay now from this uh, multiple comparison of means using the 2 KHSD, it seems that only the Africa Asia African Europe have shown the significant difference because the rejection status here is true that means the null hypothesis have been rejected that means there is a significant difference in mean GDP across Africa and Asia and Africa and Europe. And thus the GDP of Asia is approximately greater than that of uh, Africa by 9,560. Uh, while the GDP of Europe is greater compared to the GDP of Africa by 12,084. So this is how you can perform the analysis of covariance and check specifically which group or category have a significant mean difference. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share the links of this video. Goodbye.